Welcome everyone to another episode of Coral Living. We got a special night tonight. We've got a guest, our our West Coast uh I don't know what do we call it. Correspondent. He's out here. He came to visit us. Uh and uh, we're gonna have a trifecta uh show and uh long that... lost brother were the one <laughs> earthing childhood traumas. It's been weird. <laughs> Everybody's feeling weird. And it's led us to talk about this the, the main subject of the, this evening, which is wisdom. And since this was your idea, I think you should, uh, you've you got should the floor. start. You've got the floor wisdom. We can start with these guys don't have any. <laughs> don't listen to these guys. It's a sham. Uh, not only don't subscribe, but unsubscribe if you have. We're going to edit the shit out of this thing, so you're going to be like, these guys have wisdom. <laughs> It's going to be so apparent that they I have none. Gurus. <laughs> uh, so, what do we what do we say about wisdom? Because I think I think wisdom it gets uh, get the you you get the wisdom. You somehow uh, having a bunch of knowledge or being into intellectually bright seems to kind of I don't know they kind of overlap each other sometimes maybe with wisdom. Well, I, I don't think wisdom is... What is wisdom? What is well, it? Well, that's hard to define. Is I applied knowledge, maybe? Like, the, like knowing something's great and fantastic, but being able to apply discernment. something... Most people would say wisdom is discernment. Wisdom is like being able to recognize the right decision yeah. on almost like an intuitive level. Yeah, I would that's think... most people would say. I don't know if that's true, but... I agree. I think <laughs> I do think it's got less to do with. It's better to say what wisdom is not. Wisdom is not sexy. Wisdom is not. Just kidding. Is yeah, not I, I, I would say it's less possessing knowledge and more an ability to play with it, an ability to recognize. You can have a ground, a, a set of rules, um, but rules are there for your benefit. They're not there to be blindly followed. And I think wisdom is an ability to use discernment when you should follow them, when you shouldn't follow them, to play with the knowledge you have and know when to, how to make certain decisions and have an intuitive feel of what's going to work or what's not going to work. It's It doesn't always pay off to do the calculated right thing, like the right thing. That's a little too robotic, and it doesn't work in a lot of instances. How many times have you... <sighs> people give people give intuition, like, a hard time a lot, especially, like, uh, the hard, cold, rational community. That Like, how do you uh, quantify intuition? Or your, well, that... your, this, this unseen sense that you have to be able to see beyond uh, maybe what most people might be able to see because when wisdom seems to kind of stand up above or you know rise above you know what wisdom is rest. to me you know can i say what i kind of think it is wisdom's like that night where you've been out with your buddies and then it's like one in the morning and they're going come on we're gonna go down to the the, the, the whatever the football school field or something or we're gonna go to one last bar and you just get this gut feeling like I should go home and go to sleep. And then the next day, you you do that, and the next day you find out everybody got arrested or something like that. And you're like, I'm so glad I made the choice to, like, something doesn't feel right, or I'm not going to do this. Yeah, like, to me, that's, like, touching on what wisdom is a little bit. Is like, I just, you know... And you could make an argument like, yeah, but you missed out on a great memory. Or, yeah, but, you, you know, like... Yeah, that happens. That's infinite. There's always a coulda, shoulda, woulda, you know, good, mad to everything. But it's when you are like, thank God I made, like, the right choice. Yeah. But where did that come from? Where did you get you? I don't know. But you've all, most people kind of know what that's about. Like, I just, I didn't know why I thought this, but I knew I shouldn't. That's more intuition. Well, wouldn't it be bit, then there's something there about, like, but if you go to building a, your perception, building your ability to, like, see all the many facets of life and then in that situation be able to be like okay uh based upon everything that i've seen in my life i've been to this party uh, before i've done this a bunch of times and i know how this ends yeah yeah that's kind of like experience experience is a big key holder 
or maybe you know what J just before you went into that example you would mentioned uh, to the rational person maybe or the rational person maybe uh, intuition gets a bad rap but maybe ask it maybe I said it's, it's not sexy or it's not sexy either way I would say why the premium on rationality rationality is a tool but let's give a, an easy simple example you want to eat a cheeseburger you can rationalize your way out of eating a cheeseburger it's probably not the healthiest thing for you, you might up your blood pressure your cholesterol levels uh, too many calories there's probably other a host of other reasons why you wouldn't eat a cheeseburger yeah. but it probably makes you feel good and you're probably gonna wanna it's probably gonna help in your enjoyment towards life now you can't make every decision like that just because you feel I'm, I'm using that example to highlight rationality is there to serve you there's a time and a place to really think through things and have a good reason for why you're doing them and then but there's other times where you know what you it's not necessarily the best decision in one circum in one way but in another it's it might be, it might be. you might be making somebody feel better you might be make you may be bringing light into this world by just doing something you'd otherwise do if you just were like cold calculated and robotic and by the book this is what you do but you can always you so can, you're saying it kind of moves beyond just being black and white yes it? and to always remember that the rules serve you you don't serve the rules the rules are a, a framework around which to live your life to help you live your life but you don't have to just abide by them because they're there they're there to help you in the sense that you don't really know what decision to make you can always fall back on a ground set of rules when I say that you can think of the rules as like a morality uh, an ethics that you live by all and every individual place of work will have their own set of rules a religion will have its own set of rules you know a family a group of friends and rules are important like I actually think it's good to have rules and repercussions to not follow them. I think that that's a good thing for society. No, absolutely. absolutely. And so we're well, wisdom I see comes. what you're saying about like knowing when it's the right time to be like, you know, doing the the tr the thing that transcends the rules. This is now exactly. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes. exactly. Sometimes. Yeah. Well, that's that's gonna rub some people wrong. Like, and it's we all know people that like, yeah, we we, we like. I guess we all are like this at some point in our life where it's like, well, that's the rules, so you don't ever break the rules. Yeah, I want other people to obey the rules, and I want me to obey the rules, but it's kind of like, what do you say when it's like, well, I don't know what to tell you, man. I, I picked the right, perfect time to break the rules, and I made my first million, or whatever the story is, you know, or that's how I got my wife, you know, I knocked some guy in a bar, and we lived happily ever after. Whatever the situation is, it's like, you know... I, I don't know how to wrap up what I was just saying. Do you know what I'm talking about at all? Yeah. No, I just... I, well, you're sometimes, you're sometimes defining sometimes discernment. Yeah. You're, defi you're defining what it means to be able to recognize in a situation where the rules don't quite serve the purpose anymore. For some reason, it made me think of the Will Smith slap. In <laughs> his mind, that was him doing what we're talking about. This is the time to break the rules. I'm going to slap Chris Rock. Yeah. That, that was his moment. I don't like it. I no, I don't. I, I don't think that would. I personally I don't think, don't think that. I don't think it worked <laughs> out. I don't think that was wise. But I don't even know what the aftermath was. But I see in your. I can. I can see in his mind how maybe he thought I got to defend my wife. Yeah. I got to defend her honor, my honor. And there's still people split that are like, I get it. I'm like, I don't get it. Yeah. So I, I don't get it either. It seems like a bad call. There's a better way to do that. Yeah, you can't be slapping people, especially not if you're like some. You know, you're setting a terrible example, in my opinion, but whatever. Yeah. But I, I use, you can use this example. What if, throw yourself in World War II and you're hiding, uh, you don't believe that the, the the government and the army should be gathering up Jews to send them to concentration camps, and you've got a, a few people who are Jewish in your basement, and you hide them, and, and there's a secret trap door or whatever, there's a, there's a way to conceal them. But the, the soldiers come to your door, 
you shouldn't lie. In a lot of morality, some people would argue you never lie. Lying is not productive. Now, the soldiers say, hey, are, you, are there any Jewish people here? Do you let the soldiers in? Or do you, I shouldn't say that. They can't, you can let them in and say, hey, search for yourself. There's no soldiers here. Do you lie? Or do you lie? Jew, uh, sorry. Yeah, or, yeah, or do you know what I mean? I think you lie. I think it's pretty obvious that you lie. But I have. But a, that's breaking. That's that's. But I would argue that's wisdom, in being able to. It's a it, it's a, a fairly easy example. Well, to, that, to play with the rules. It's a popular example, and I actually have a pretty unpopular take on that example. My opinion of that specific example, because it comes up before. Do you lie to the Nazi yeah. soldiers? And my attitude is. Of course you lie. Like, if you're brave enough to lie, you lie and save the people. But I think lying is what it is, and that the consequences of some good thing happening from a lie, you're not even protected when it's the most appropriate time to do it. I think that psychologically, when you subconscious tells yourself, lying benefited me, you have screwed yourself up a little bit. Like, lying is no joke. Like, people that are, like, compulsive liars, they really get themselves into terrible water. Like, I take it very seriously, telling the truth. And that might be my own issues. Like, maybe I'm just wired to identify the benefits of being as truthful as possible. But I get the sense that, like, why is it okay, you know, why, why is it so appropriate to lie there with zero consequence why can't you lie if you can get away with it? Why can't you lie in other places? Because you're actually your your psychology will betray you if that's what you do to um, if you use it like a tool. You know, you're always going to have a part of you that that would be a heroic story that you tell people down the road. And then the Nazi soldier showed up, and I said, "No, they're not here." Like you've baked lying into your persona now. And it's and you should do it, but I think there's consequences. Sometimes there's consequences for even doing the right thing. Yeah, well, maybe it's kind of yeah. deep. Uh, and like I said, I don't think it's a popular opinion that I hold on that because so many people use white, like little white lies and stuff. And like, what do you do if somebody comes up and says, "Hey, you know, do am I looking fat?" Most of the time, you're like, nah. I think there's <laughs> consequences to no, that. Well, there, there is a difference between uh, being a coward. I guess you could sounds harsh to, in that example to call somebody a coward, but maybe it's your own dis, being cowardice towards your own discomfort of, I wasn't prepared for that question and I don't know what to say and I don't want to hurt them. Mm -hmm. But then maybe the wisdom is in knowing how to address that appropriately and saying, listen, there's a lot That's of redeeming nice qualities. There's a, no, there's a lot of redeeming <laughs> qualities and I don't want to hurt your feelings. You know, I, maybe I'm not the best to, to give the example, but I mean... Right, but here's the thing. If it was somebody, if it was, let's say it was a crazy person, it's one thing if somebody you've known for years comes sure. up and goes, am I looking fat? And you're like, you approach it the way you said, like, yeah. well, we're Attached. honest with each other. Yeah. But if, like, a lady comes up to you who's, like, crazy on the street and is like, do I look fat? You're going to be like, nope, you look like a million dollars. Have a nice day. Bye. And, yep. and um, that's where this whole thing gets crazy because even then, even then, I'm thinking that there's a consequence to the fact that you use the lie to get out of that situation. I, it's not fair, but I think it's a it's a like a part of psychology. Possibly, yeah. I, 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 I on that point, I don't. It's I don't intense, man. It's yeah, freaking intense I, yeah. because it's hard you to not to lie. That's a that's a whole conversation itself. Bringing it back onto wisdom more predominantly, cultivating wisdom. What do you think would be like some great things to help uh, expand it, make it better? Experience to value it. Well, you say experience. Mm -hmm. Does that mean well to value? What about value. what about like because uh, we've used historic examples here, knowing your history. Being uh, observant, astute, like a like a student of I've, I've, knowledge. I really think at at the at the top, it has to be value. I don't. I you can yeah. you learn, can tell someone that does not value wisdom. Yeah, you you can learn a, a million different things, and that doesn't necessarily make you wise. But if you're but if you value having it, if you value if you treasure it and you want it and you see. 
the benefit in it. That's the first step in acquiring it. Because otherwise, you're, you're just... Because there is a big component of wisdom that it has to do with experience and knowledge and, and observation. I, it, it often seems... Tell me if I'm wrong or not. It seems like wisdom does typically go along with the more introverted... Is it in, seemingly introverted, at least, but a quieter temperament. A quiet, you don't think of wisdom... You don't think of people that possess a lot of wisdom as the bombastic showman, you know. Not typically, but but you could think of like a one of the big examples of wisdom would be like King Solomon, right? And his radical approach to things like who gets the baby, cut the baby in half. You know what I mean? Like that's what cut the baby in half, and then the mother says, you know, no. give it to her, yeah. and, he, and he goes, well, that, that's the true mother, like. Maybe there is a version of wisdom that's like the guy that when somebody's blabbing that goes, shut up, you know, and like, Sigh, enough, stop, we're putting an end to this nonsense. Like, maybe there is a version of wisdom that's loud. Well, I mean, now that I'm even thinking about it, Socrates was like a big shit disturber in his time. And... <laughs> <laughs> but look at Osho, he's like quiet and like... Yeah, that's when I think of, when I think of wisdom, I think yeah. of more of an Osho, I think yeah. of... Typically somebody that's more contemplative, Fine. observant, and takes the time to uh, observe the landscape and, and and take enough information in to make the correct decision. I don't typically see, like... You think someone, uh, someone oh, yeah. who's wise might spend more time kind of uh, trying to be an example rather than splurting, you know, what they think is to be... Nah. Knowledge all over the place. <laughs> no. Osho said a lot of shit, <laughs> <laughs> which makes me think sometimes. You know, like is it is it is it wise to follow someone like him? You know what I mean? Is it wise to look at him and be like, oh, he's a wise guru? I'm gonna gobble up everything he says. It's like, yeah, but you know, I think part of wisdom is also knowing that I'll I'll take what's I find a value. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's not. I, I think the second you've blindly followed somebody and said I'm going the whole way, you are off the path. You're off the path because a, a component of wisdom is always keeping your eyes open, is being observant and being able to know, recognizing when, you know, when to follow, when to lead. There's a time for everything, right? How about like, our, how about our culture now? Do you th do you think? Uh, oh, we don't value wisdom now at all. Wisdom. At all. So go into that. You seem to be right on top of that. What what do you think is like the most obvious thing to? I I I think for s it seems obvious that we wouldn't we teach that in schools. Wouldn't if you value wisdom? I mean, we 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 teach a whole lot of non wisdom. we teach a whole lot of nonsense in school. Yeah. Not we also teach a lot of good things, but we teach a whole lot of nonsense. Why would if wisdom is what? potentially could save you. It's what's going to keep you the strongest, most alert, most... Uh, why wouldn't we drill that into kids at a young age? Yeah. Well, It's not even yeah. hard. It's not a difficult thing to say, hey, you need to be strong in who you are and keep your eyes open because people all along the way are going to try to deceive you. Yeah. They're not all kind. They're not all willing to help you. Some are, some aren't. But you need to keep your eyes open, and you need to pay attention. You need to be astute. We, if we valued it, we do it. We don't do it. That's the e that's that's the well, easiest. Well, it's kind of obvious. Like on YouTube, if you look up like most vi viewed videos for the week, you're not going to find anything to do with like. Uh, yeah, and if you put any, if you put any elevated thought, thinking, here, and, 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 and I'm not poo pooing this is any views. I, I, <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah. This is, this is the corner of the internet where people are not flocking to. <laughs> welcome. Um, well, those of you out there, good. Welcome. As no, we, but as we like to say, wisdom is not sexy and will not make you a lot of money. What do you mean you're sexy? Well, here's the thing. Maybe, maybe wisdom. Thank you. I, sometimes I get the sense that the word wisdom is a little bit dated because it's like, you know, okay. Wisdom seems so simple in one sense, like, you know, it's almost like a father looking at a young son who's, like, getting wrapped, tied up with some, like, reckless woman or something like that, and he's like, 
I'm telling you, she's going to be trouble for you. And he's like, I don't care. I, I'm, I love her. You know what I mean? And then a few years later, he's like, I should have listened. Like, well, it's <laughs> wisdom a lot of times seems to be tied with, like, it's so simple. But, and, and, you know, but there are people that are like, why can't I learn? Why can't I learn? It's like, is it really wisdom or is it knowledge? What's the yeah, difference? It's strange because at least I know in the in the Bible, and we'll use that example because we grew up going to church. In the Bible, there seems to be in the wisdom books, there seems to be a lot of very straightforward, simple, uh, admonishment. Yeah, it's like <laughs> do not go near the fallen woman or something like that. Or yeah, like yeah, there's a lot of stuff against. Yeah, it's, the harlot will lead you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. very <laughs> massive, like uh, whatever they call it. Uh, yeah, toxically. And that stuff just seems, when I think of wisdom, I don't really, those are like just life lessons that like are so obvious you should do. You, you throw That's stuff like saying. that in with like save 10% of your money, put some money aside for a rainy day. But you day. know people that are that you talk to year after year that are like, they run into the same mistakes over and over again. Yeah. What am I going to learn? And it's like, I don't know. That's lower You're level. lacking wisdom. Let's call it lower level wisdom. Like base wisdom. But is it wisdom? That's, I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> or is it like this screwed up psychology? Like, yeah, because when I think of wisdom, I think of when you come to a hard decision. Yeah, that there yeah. is really like there's no way of you knowing. You got to put empirically your... what's right or wrong. Yeah. You've really got to dig deep into what you've gleaned from life yeah. to make a dis- a difficult decision, and. Maybe you need to get burned really, really... Some people need to get burned harder than others. I don't know. Like, And I don't think wisdom... Well, maybe. and I, But I also don't think wisdom protects you from always making a wrong decision. I don't think it's like a you attain wisdom and then you never falter. I think it's always a process and you make the best decisions you can. And sometimes you get it right and sometimes you don't, you, you don't get it right. But, which al- al- already devalues wisdom. Okay, well, if it's not a guaranteed goal, go on. <laughs> wisdom sucks. Why are we doing this? <laughs> <laughs> Will we ever learn? Uh, I mean, there's no reason to build me our wisdom right here. <laughs> bil- giving, giving nuggets. I'm selling my <laughs> RSPs and I'm yeah. investing in crypto. It's, it's a foregone. So do it. <laughs> Yeah. Well, any other, any other, I'm so rich I've got don't need wisdom money. <laughs> I don't have money, guys. That's like F you money. Yeah. Oh, I got no need for wisdom money. <laughs> <laughs> pay my way at anything. <laughs> well, any other valuable gems on wisdom? Um, Bros? yeah, yeah. I think that the, the, cause there's some, there is some scriptures. We grew up learning about the Bible scriptures and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. And there's some scriptures in there that have, that say some pretty scary things up in terms of wisdom. Like if you ignore it in your time of need, it'll laugh at you. And stuff like that stuck with me because I've been the guy that's like, I'm so glad I was a fucking nerd and left. And then, and you, wisdom is like when you revel in making the right choice, is when you see a bunch of idiots go off a cliff and you were like, I was wise and didn't do that. It is good to be wise. Be wise. Yes. Don't don't be a Amen. fool, because the opposite of wise is a fool. You can learn a lot being a fool, but it's gonna hurt. You know what I mean? Like, and it gets to a point where, you know, there's some kind of some types of hurt you don't want to have. So, you know, value wisdom. Value it. It is worth something. It's you know, and, and you'll reap the benefits when you make the right choice. That's great. I don't want to end it on that because that's great. I like what you said there. But anyway, folks, I want to thank everyone who's uh, watched this episode with us. It's been great having you. It's good having Jared come out from Calgary. Thanks, Jim and Terry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what did I say? What? No, I'm just sure. talking to both our friends. <laughs> Uh, put everyone else out there. Um, if you like the episode, don't forget to hit the subscribe, like, share it with a friend. Look at all our stuff in the description box uh, below if you want to check out our stuff. And uh, everybody, until next time, stay, stay spiritual. spiritual.